Welcome to Andy Auto Walk. Today I have with me here this new IEM from C Audio, C Audio Rinko. And in fact, this is another collaboration with uh, Z Reviews. And this is a hybrid, a dual driver, magnetic planar, and dynamic driver. The impedance rating for this uh, Rinko is rated at 30 ohm with 112 dB of sensitivity. So let's just have a closer look with the build itself first. As you can see here, this is the box. And you see this, this nice uh, placard or card, standing card. This is the IEM itself here. Let me just show you. All right. It is in fact, for a very fancy full box, the IEM itself is pretty much uh, just black, simple black, powder coated black. The faceplate in front here is in fact metal, I think, aluminum, the way it feels. Yep. And at the back here, it is uh, resin, okay, which is uh, very solid, very well designed and agronomically looking very comfortable too, which I will touch a bit later. And as you can see here, this is the nozzle, slightly longer than uh, some of the shorter nozzle I am that I have seen before, which means that it goes a bit deeper into the ears. Right, so and have a look here. This is also the cable itself, the stock cable SPC with single ended termination. Let's just have a closer look at the tips here, as you can see. All right, now this is very interesting. This is, in fact, the first time that I am seeing such a tips being included. And there's more inside here. Oh, yeah, by the way, you also get this very nice looking uh, keyboard caps here. So, what you are seeing right now is that. In fact, inside these are foams, okay? And outside, there's a very thin layer of silicon. So in fact, this reminded me a lot to another foam which I have used extensively before, which is Symbio Orange and Misodico 460. The difference being that here, these tips will have slightly thinner outer layer for the silicon itself, where else the Symbio is slightly thicker but the foam inside feels very solid as for the build itself i must say that i have been able to wear this rinko comfortably even up to four hours in fact i use it for gaming sessions even aside from listening to music so definitely it is one of the few iem that i consider as being comfortable let's talk about the sound signature of this c audio rinko this is a very traditional, strong V sounding IEM with prominent boosting in the lower frequency, very prominent in fact, and some minor boosting in the upper frequency with just some suppression on the mid range itself. So this is in fact one very exciting, engaging and dynamic sounding IEM. So as for the dynamic itself, I must say that, you know, due to that nature of being V, the presentation of dynamic is in fact kind of a bit not as balanced as how I prefer it. It is kind of like, you know, again, like I mentioned, slightly recessed on the mid range. But the good thing about it is that the presentation of the dynamic itself, the way it handles micro and macro transients, it is coherent, very clean, smooth and fluid. It is definitely one of the few IEM which I consider as being clean sounding, despite being relatively heavy and bassy. As for the tone and timber balance itself, this is definitely something which I consider as being organic sounding and warm in fact. Simply put, this Rinko is not a bright sounding IEM and in fact it is just fairly analytical, not the type of IEM which I consider as being clinical. As I mentioned earlier, this Rinko is kind of a bit recessed or step back with the mid-range due to the view tuning. And in fact, I would consider this as being warm sounding with the mid range itself, despite being uh, no recess, which is a good thing. So it imparts a good element of emotions to the presentation itself. So instead of being, let's say, transparent or analytical or accurate, this is definitely a bit more engaging with the mid range. So for example, when I listen to jazz or a female vocal of Diana Kroll, for example, I can literally feel her vocal being, you know, reaching out to me warm and kind of a bit lush as well so definitely something which i can enjoy however i must say that when switching to male vocal the baritone type especially it is then sounding a bit more transparent so that is definitely a good thing as well 
and when it comes to instrument itself the way it present the sound of the instrument the attack first it is very smooth instead of let's say kind of like energetic or creeps it is definitely the attack is smooth edge so does the dispersal of the mid-range itself moving on to the upper frequency which is the tribal region itself this c audio rinko is definitely not for people who love bright energetic and vibrant sort of performance for the tribal itself it is in fact tuned to be non-offensive with the tribal itself i can clearly hear that the micro and micro detail being kind of a bit toned down all right it is still there it is still present i can still enjoy proper smooth decays right the extension itself is fairly good but not so well extended as compared as to some other brighter sounding IEM. Now let's talk about the best part which is the best itself, lower frequency. Perhaps the biggest strength of this Rinko and the biggest appeal of this Rinko is the best performance. First, the tuning of the best is definitely one of the dynamic driver kind of sort of best performance. It is very commanding punchy with very solid rumble goom, 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 that kind of thing you know so especially when listening to electronic music rock music or any kind of very vibrant modern music this rinko will appear really suitable for that sort of presentation the mid bass itself despite being highly commanding with huge presence with rumbles punch and everything it does not overwhelm any other frequency especially the sub bass or lower mid range so what i'm trying to say is that it does not present any kind of bloat or any kind of wooliness to the sound itself it is clean it is fast as it flows towards the lower frequency which is the sub bass and this is another area which i love so like i mentioned earlier when you have an iem which has very commanding sort of mid bass sometimes just sometimes the sub bass may be subdued but not the case with Rinko. I can still clearly the sub bass region being dispersed or switching into decay stage with very smooth transition as it goes deep and deep and deep. So I would say that the extension for bass on Rinko is definitely quite amazing. How about technicalities? So let's talk about technicalities on this Rinko. First, the cons. I must say that despite being a hybrid, I was kind of a bit you know, disappointed when I first use it with the stock tips and everything here, I will admit that the sound stage kind of a feel a bit, you know, not as wide as how I prefer it. In fact, I was already expecting this to be wide sounding, but that is not the case. But do not despair yet. Other than that, for everything else with technicalities, this Rinko definitely scores really well, especially with this one thing, which I consider as, again, another strength for this Rinko, holographic presentation. When I subject this Rinko for test with regard to being holographic with binaural kind of track or even gaming, I was able to hear cleanly the placement of instrument or sound source, regardless from top, bottom, left, right, anywhere, you name it, all right? The precision of the holographic imaging is really strong on this Rinko. It is clean, it is precise, and the layering itself, like I say, again, being very clean. The speed and the resolution is fairly good. In fact, when we talk about speed, I must admit also perhaps kind of a bit critical here. When the music kind of get a bit more congested or speedy, you know, it can cramp up, kind of a bit compressed with the sound itself. Related to the technicalities and the sound signature of this Rinko, I would say that, you know, it is not exactly suitable for every type of music. Okay, especially when I subject this to listening to classical, <laughs> you don't use Rinko for classical music, okay? Because there's not enough amount of, let's say, accuracy or even precision to the analytical prowess of this uh, Rinko itself. It is definitely colored sounding. And of course, you know, some other music like instrumentals or even, let's say, kitaro sort of music is kind of like, you know, energetic, vibrant, but not quite no precise keeping it to more modern type of music in fact the younger generation music i must say something like j-pop k-pop or even you know pop <laughs> something which is like vibrant energetic and kind of like you know more into dance kind of music electronic music especially this thing sounds amazing
Now let's talk about synergy and driving power. For the entirety of my test with this Rinko, I have already spent on it roughly at around 100 hours. Okay. Most of the time, I use this Fio Q11 and also my phone here, which is a Sony Xperia 1 and also my dongle here, which is Abigail Pro. And I have my desktop setup as well, which is X-Duo MT602. Very powerful. And the reason I use that is that because I need to understand whether this Rinko being a magnetic planner and a DD would be able to scale well with power. I must say that true enough, while using this one VRMS of my Sony Xperia phone, while it sounded okay, the volume was okay, but the presentation itself, you know, appeared to be kind of a bit soft. And that is a clear indication of this thing need power. So true enough, when I switch to using something more powerful like this one, Fio Q11, suddenly the sound opens up. It blooms. It scales very, very well. Now let's talk about comparison. All right. The first thing that came into my mind when I listened to this Rinko, hey, you know what? This Rinko competes one-to-one -one with the popular Moondrop Aria. Okay. There are many ways this Rinko and Aria being similar. However, the biggest difference would be the sound tuning itself on the lower frequency. You see, Aria is VDSF Moondrop sort of tuning kind of a bit Harman-ish, alright? So which means that Aria have kind of a bit more suppression with mid-bass. So Aria would have more focus on sub-bass, where else this Rinko more focus on mid-bass. Where else, when it comes to technicalities, I must say that they are pretty much on par, but this is a bit more holographic and Aria a bit more wider on the sound stage itself, but less holographic. Next comparison would be with another popular IM, which is HZ Sound Hard Mirror. Okay, just put it this way. Hard Mirror and Rinko are like polar opposite. <laughs> it's kind of like you reverse this, right? And it become Hard Mirror because Hard Mirror is like very bright, very energetic, but also some people even describe Hard Mirror as it doesn't have any bass. <laughs> Where else this thing has a lot of bass and not so much on the upper frequency. So it's kind of like reverse when it comes to comparison with hard mirror. The next comparison will be against Tin Hi-Fi T3 Plus, another IEM which is very popular, very well liked as well. So let me just put it this way, okay? This ring core is definitely something that I would consider as you take this Tin Hi-Fi T3 and you just simply boost up the bass <laughs> and it becomes this Rinko, all right? The technicalities itself is pretty much kind of like on par, but if you are the existing user of this Tin High Party 3 Plus, just imagine this. I need more bass. I need a bit more of holographic presentation, okay? This is the answer. See audio Rinko. Now, let's just tally up the total score for this C audio Rinko. As you can see right now, this is how I do review and grading for IEMs, right? From 1 to 10, with all the elements which I have been mentioning to you earlier, all taken into consideration, individually graded. So as you can see there, the sound itself, the technicalities, and several other elements including synergy and you know speed, resolution, and versatility, the total score for Rinko is rated at 76 out of 100 and according to my grading system this Rinko is a very solid four-star performer in conclusion after all things considered definitely i would see this c audio Rinko as being a niche a very specific kind of iem for very specific sort of target it is definitely not suitable for all type of music especially if you are listening to more like you know classical or even that sort of genre but it is definitely very well suited if you prefer warmer sort of presentation or even energetic type of presentation and definitely with lots of bass so we are talking about let's say k-pop j-pop pop music or even let's say rock metal music and for gaming as well i love using this ringo for gaming i hope this has been informational and useful to you 
And if you are interested in getting this C Audio Ringco, please do check Hi-Fi Go with the link below, which I will attach later. It will be released soon. And the moment it is released, Hi-Fi Go is one of the first place that you can get C Audio Ringco. Again, thank you and you have a good day there.